Hi, it's Mike from Custom Cruises. Right, here's our VRX 400. It will be up for sale soon. We're going to get a tank respray. Now, I don't know if you can see in there or what you can hear or saw that all this is full of rust. This rust is basically caused by this shitty modern fuel ethanol based crap that they sell. As you can see, the rust in the fuel is mixed with the rust. <coughs> God, it stinks at all. <coughs> Would not want to put this in a fuel in your bike. All this shit will basically block your tap up like this was. It won't even turn at all. Completely block that up. Okay. But the worst thing, all this rust will go into your carburetors. Okay. Also, the ethanol fuel, apart from attacking the paint here, as you can see, and this is original Honda paint, so it would be normally fuel proof. Okay. Um, do not fill up at supermarkets unless you know it's proper fuel. Okay. This... Abroad, the fuel has to be called E10. This warns you it's 10% ethanol. That's what the E10 means. In Britain, there is no legal requirement at all. So basically, you'll be putting this rubbish in your car, in your bike. I mean, this really is beyond belief, this stuff, how rusty this has gone. Um, you can see the sediment. No, you can't. It's too full. But basically, total waste of fuel as well. Whereas if this had had really good quality fuel put in, you know, your BP, that kind of stuff, it wouldn't have gone off. You know, as long as you're using the premium stuff. Okay, we also do a fuel stabilizer, which will stop the fuel going off as well. It gets the ethanol out of it, if you do stupidly put ethanol fuel in. And uh, this is a pièce de résistance, okay? Basically, we do, you put some loose, small pebbles in there, and give them a good old rattle around, get rid of the loose flakes. You then mix our super duper rust remover, okay? This will completely remove the rust. This is enough here for a 20 litre fuel tank. Okay, so basically you fill a thing to the top. This one here, you only need maybe half of that 10 litre tank, whatever it is. And then this, you mix together. Okay, Wagner's from Germany, top of the range stuff. So basically you would mix the hardener with the, um, the resin. And once that stuff's in there, you swirl it around, leave it. Um, you normally put the first stuff in up to maybe, it could actually be up to 24 hours depending on how bad it is. This is really bad. Um, the, it really is shitty. So this particular tank, if I was to shake the rust out of this, which I will actually get some out later and show you, um, there's literally huge flakes of rust in it. Um, but this stuff will basically completely seal. It has been known to actually seal holes as well, you know, small pinpricks and stuff. But uh, the more you put in, the harder it is. But uh, very, very good stuff available from customcruises.com. We also do the fuel cleaner, which basically put in your tank. That'll keep your fuel good and also clean your carb out as you're going along. But in a case like this, the carburetors will have to come off because this is a good example of this really shitty ethanol wanky, for want of a better word, fuel. You know, look at all this rust. And this rust will go into all your engine, your carburetors. You know, it's horrendous stuff. The only thing you can use this for is cleaning your drip trays out, which is what we save it for. You certainly won't want to put, run it in a motor. Also, this fuel tap was lock solid with gum because that shitty stuff will also attack all the rubbers. The new vehicles have what they call nitrile rubber, which means the ethanol fuel won't attack it. But this, unfortunately, being an older bike, this is 1995, wouldn't have had anything of the sort. Okay, and also your dump vacuum diaphragm, no doubt, is knackered as well because as you can see, that's on prime. <clears throat> there's no fuel coming out at all which means it's completely blocked solid so if you want your fuel cleaner we do that that's uh, liquid molly we also do a carburetor cleaner as you're driving along which is very very good and we do a gasoline stabilizers as well so the gasoline stabilizer will actually stop this happening it will not go off like this but you can see now why many vehicles do have plastic fuel tanks uh, because you won't get this problem at all and uh, shows how shit the fuel is Anyway, if you're interested in any fuel repair kits for your gas tanks, you know, car or we do up to 80 litre ones of these or 100 litres, you know, for doing your big V8s and stuff, or this is obviously your motorbike size, you don't need most, you need a 10 litre, 20 litre size for that. Work out around about 34.50 for enough to do a bike. Um, as you go bigger, it's cheaper. So if you've got a couple of bikes to do, buy a bigger kit, you know, because it's obviously cheaper than buying four small ones, all right, if you've got four or five bikes. I would highly recommend, if you haven't done it by now, <laughs> get your bike done because this shit will absolutely eat your tank away. I mean, you cannot believe how rough this is in here. And this is only after about a year, 
you know, it's just pure rust. Okay, and that will completely screw up. If that got into your engine, you can imagine those particles of rust going down into the engine because um, the fuel filter won't always clean them out anyway. And we would recommend um, our new fuel pipe, which is amazing stuff. This particular stuff, ultra flexible, okay, very bendy, does not get attacked by ethanol. Um, available in two diameters, this is like your six mil, your eight mil, but very good. We actually sell this to pay from cars, so that proves how good it is. It comes from America. And then the gasoline stabilizer um, is very good as well. So, uh, but as you can see in here, it's a bit of a mess because we, we've just packed up, but we do keep masses of gear, okay? This is all your brake pads, your oil filters, um, you know, battery chargers that make V-twin noises, and we've got normal battery chargers. This does lithium everything, only 3450, so a lot of those. Um, down to a two-bank system here. The two-bank will actually charge two bikes at once. This is what I use personally. They are bloody brilliant. Um, extension leads, you can add a 12 foot lead, you can add USB things to it here. This will give you a USB plug for your bike, fully waterproof. And also we do tent lights, um, which has got a built-in voltmeter. So you can not only check in your tent if your volt if voltage on your battery is okay, but fantastic bit of kit. If you're interested in any products, got masses of clothing, you know, we do all your billet wheels and all your stuff like that. We do road bike stuff as well, obviously. Fort rest, masses of them. Okay, luggage, real mess, like I say. Clothing, <clears throat> helmets, Tuzos, phone back sunglasses, more helmets, 